Hi there. I wanted to talk today about some of the technology that I wear when I'm teaching Enhanced Fitness with Sean. You've probably seen me wearing this, which is not a watch. This is an activity tracker made by Fitbit. Fitbit is a company from San Francisco with offices worldwide. They were founded in 2007 and they now have 1700 employees. So uh, they make wearable technology and that's what this is. It's uh, basically technology, a little computer that you can put on and take off. I want to show you a few of their other items and we'll talk about what they make. So they make smart watches. So let's look at the smart watches and we can compare them in size. That's the Ionic and that's the Versa 2. I'm going to put the Versa 2 on. It's slightly larger. I've always worn watches my whole life and I was very resistant to wearing these kinds of trackers. But I think it's, I think it's worth seeing what they look like. I find that I've got a very slender wrist, so that's, that's on the larger side for me. But that's, that would be doable. That is the Versa 2. So it comes with a pink strap. And then this is the Ionic. And these are smart watches, these two larger fellas, and they do something that the other trackers don't do. This one has an inbuilt GPS, and that was, that's, oh, I can't do it up fully, there we go. That's what makes it slightly bigger. So you'll notice this is, this is really more of a man's wear. I, I find that quite large on my wrist. That's the Ionic. So the, let me talk about that. Let me take them off and tell you a little bit about them. So these are smartwatches, and smartwatches do a little bit more than activity trackers. You can load personal music onto these guys, and they have an active screen. This one isn't charged. They have an active screen where you can actually poke things and make things happen, so, and a little, uh, a little button on the side. So what's, what's cool about these, these are like little computers for your wrist. This is the Versa 2. This is the Ionic. They're, they're smart watches. You can load personal music. You can, this one has a GPS, the Ionic, and um, you, can, you can touch the screen and it, it will, it's doing all kinds of things. Um, you probably can't see on the little screen that you have, but it's, so those are smart watches. The other thing that they make are these activity trackers. This is a Charge 4. And I will, in all honesty, the strap was actually just from an online retailer. It's not actually Fitbit. So this is the Fitbit. Let's take that off. I'm just showing you how easy it is to take these straps off. Basically, that is the Charge 4. It's a tiny little thing. And it's so easy, you just snap these on. So you could change your band to match your outfit every day. And I particularly like these bands. This one is a... it's slightly purple and it's metallic and it's got on here a little magnet so you can just make it whatever tightness you want so if you had a tiny wrist you could make it small if you had a big wrist you make it big and the magnet just sticks to the metallic band so I'm really fond of this um, I'll tell you some of what it does okay so um, the, uh, there, and there is one other which I don't have to show you, by the way. It's called the Inspire, and it's smaller again. So if you really wanted something much smaller, you would go with the Inspire. This is the Charge 4. And um, they make one other item, which is called the Aria. They're smart scales, um, and I'm not going to show you those. All right, so what does this do? So it does exactly what most trackers do. It counts your steps. And as you know, we're supposed to take 10,000 steps a day. So as we walk along, it counts your steps and it will tell you how many steps you took and how many stairs, how many flights you climbed. And um, it will also tell you your heart rate. So in the middle of a class, you can have a look and you can see your cardio fitness level right there and then. But it also does something else. It takes, looks at your heart rate throughout the day and it finds out what your resting heart rate is. And it turns out that's quite important. That can be used for, there's a little app on here, which is called Guided Breathing. It's a little circle that gets bigger and smaller, and you breathe with it. It's, a, it's not meditation, but it's a form of mindfulness. And um, that's on here, that's based on your breathing, and it helps you calm yourself down. 
And then also because it knows your, your, your base rate, your resting heart rate, when you're sleeping, it can see how much your heart rate dips below your resting heart rate. And the more you stay below your resting heart rate in sleep, the more successful your sleep is, the better rested you feel. So let's talk about the sleep tracking because that's the other really big thing that these trackers do. And all of these, all of the, the ones that are made by Fitbit, they all do the sleep tracking. It's able to tell by your heart rate uh, while, you're, while you are sleeping, whether you are in light sleep, deep sleep, or REM, rapid eye movement sleep. Now, if you're a sleep expert, you know there are other waves, theta and delta and so on. They keep it simple. So it's just light sleep, deep sleep, and REM. And you get a little graph in the morning showing how you slept and when you were in each of those stages. And of course, if you get up to go to the bathroom, it can tell because the step counter kicks in. So you can see how your sleep is and why that's really helpful is uh, you, can, you can try out different things. So for example, um, if I've had a glass of wine with dinner, my resting heart rate does not dip as low as it does usually if I have not had any alcohol. And so if my resting heart rate does not dip as low, I don't have as restful sleep. So I've actually learned I drink very little now because I've realized I wasn't sleeping well and that was why. That my resting heart rate was here and if I don't drink alcohol, my heart rate generally stays pretty low. If I do drink alcohol, it only dips a little, so it's not as restful. So you can play around with different ideas, figure out if you sleep better in a cold room or a darker room or wear eye shades or earplugs and you can hopefully adjust your sleep but you can see because you have a diagnostic so you can look on your phone on the Fitbit app in the morning and see how you slept. Uh, what else does this do? Um, there's a new concept that is taken on which is active zone minutes. We are advised to get 150 active zone minutes per week that's two and a half hours. And what are active zone minutes? They're when your heart rate, because it's looking at our heart rate all the time, when your heart rate is elevated up into the area that for you counts as fat burning or even faster heart rate, your cardio zone. And those are the areas where you get active zone minutes. And of course you get those with enhanced fitness. Why is that important? If you watched my health and wellness segment on the benefits of dance, you will remember that as we age, we can um, lower our risk of dementia and of certain physical illnesses. We can reduce those, um, those uh, problems a little bit by a certain amount of physical activity, mental stimulation and social activity. And when it comes to the physical activity, the thing that is most replenishing is actually cardio workouts. So as you know, about half of our workout in enhanced fitness is a cardio workout to get your heart rate elevated. And for that very reason that that way we get active zone minutes. And of course, when, you, when you're doing that, you've got more blood going to your brain, more oxygen to your brain. So your brain is just happier and stays replenished, keeps you younger for longer. Um, what else? There's a few little side points of, of what these trackers do. Even the charge, as well as which is just an activity tracker, as well as the smartwatches, they all give you notifications. Um, they, you can see, oh, I've just had a text from my son. He needs picking up. Um, you can also, through the app, you can do challenges with friends. You could challenge them to um, uh, different, different numbers of step counts per day, and you can text them through the app. And if you pay for Fitbit Premium, which is a premium service that the app offers, you can get classes. One, actually, there's some wonderful yoga classes that my husband takes when he's uh, using his, his device, which is he mostly wears the Versa. So anyway, that's a little bit of information about the Fitbit. To recap, we've got our smartwatches, the Versa 2 and the Ionic. And then we've got the Charge 4, and you always see me wearing the Charge 4, and I love it. I never thought I would give up my watch, but I really have, and I wear this all the time now. So that's a little bit of information for you.
Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Remember to try my other playlists. Each one is like a one hour class in the studio. And check out my other videos, including health and wellness tips, product reviews, and more. See you soon.